When Musa regains consciousness, the West Side boys are taking the patrol deeper into the jungle. Late that afternoon, they arrive at the rebels' stronghold, a tiny village called Gaberi Bana. Rebel leader Fode Kale sees the 12 men as hostile intruders. I'm not the one who gives the order to arrest them, but my men arrest them and hand over them to me. They don't have any business to go right in the jungle. I take them as a spy. He knows the British soldiers will be invaluable bargaining chips. As hostages, they'll give the West Side boys power and maybe a way out of the jungle. Stop. 50 kilometers away, in Freetown, senior officers from the Royal Irish Rangers enjoy a drink. An urgent message arrives. 12 men are missing. A chill runs through Lieutenant Colonel Simon Fordham, the regiment's commanding officer in Sierra Leone. We surmised that they had had an accident, or the worst case would be that somehow they had been, uh, they got involved with the West Side Boys or been apprehended by them. The British commanders immediately plan a full-scale search. But Musa fears his time is already running out. I told Major Alan Marshall, this is a real messy situation. These guys might kill me any time from now. I am not important to them. I'm not going to be a bargaining chip. Maybe my days are over. Minutes later, the rebels drag him away. <laughs> He's beaten again, this time by boy soldiers. feeling the pain, every pain, because they were beating me everywhere. My head, my eyes, my everywhere. He's thrown into an old cesspit. His cell is two meters deep and about five meters square. The stench is unbearable. There's nothing to drink. 